Hello Clever Scopers, welcome to our Excel live demo in which we show you how we capture stuff into Excel in two ways. First off, DDE links. We've got a captured signal here. We can see the frequency in the signal information window. We want to transfer that to Excel using DDE. Let's put in some information, frequency equals, and some units, hertz. Now we'll use the handy table that's in help about DDE links. There it is. We're going to copy channel A frequency. Control C to copy to the clipboard. Control V to paste it into Excel. It's live. Let's adjust the frequency. You can see it changing in the signal information. If you look at Excel, it's also following it. It's live. You can use that for your calculations and graphs. Now, another way. Here we're going to log information to Excel live. First of all, let's capture something. Display the signal information. You can see the frequency. This is again controls so that we can change the frequency. We're going to use sweeping. You can see the frequency changing in the signal information display. Now let's turn on logging by clicking on show logging. We're going to send to an Excel file. Choose our position. Let's call it test. Now we want to sample every sample, so we set it to zero. We're going to log frequency and the RMS value of just channel A. Channel B is turned off. We start logging. That opens Excel automatically and puts the header into the, into the spreadsheet. We start sweeping, but because we're not capturing yet, nothing happens. We click it Auto, and we start sweeping. As you can see, Excel is rec recording information. We go down, we can see all those samples. We see the time, the amplitude, and the RMS, and the frequency. And you can see it being captured in the log display. Let's vary the amplitude. You can see the amplitude varying, the RMS value. So far, we've kept it nearly 50 seconds. All this while, Excel is also capturing. Right, let's stop logging. Now, if we go into Excel, let's make a graph of what we've captured. Give ourselves a bit more room. Okay, so we widen up the graph and select the samples we've captured. Now we're going to plot them. So we insert an XY plot. As you can see, it looks pretty much the same as the XY plot in the logging graph. Let's save that. Close it and save it. There we go. We've just saved to Excel. Just as is inside, you can zoom in on the logging plot and scroll your way around any part of it. Thanks for watching.